Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough of a simple web scraping system using make.com and ChatGPT. So we'll create a Google Sheet to save our data and have our automation pull any new rows that are added to that sheet. We'll then perform an HTTP GET request from the website URL and run the data through ChatGPT to summarize what the website's all about. We'll then save this information back in the Google Sheet for later reference. So this is a great project to get familiarized with the automation features of make.com. It provides a useful scenario to be able to get more information summarized easily of a website. This could easily be implemented in a real business for research, sales, or marketing purposes. All right, so let's get into the build. So the first thing we're gonna do, and I've already done this, but you just need to set up a new Google Sheet within your Google Drive. And here I have a couple of header rows set up which are gonna be our main columns that we're gonna pull the data from. So we'll, in this sheet, we'll put in our website URL and then make is going to pull in that data. So we're gonna to go to make.com and I've got an example builds folder here. I'm gonna create a new scenario. And so just to start, we're gonna create a Google Sheet connection and we're going to actually be watching for a new row, whenever a new row is added. So say someone adds in a new URL, it'll know to pull that. So we'll do for watch new rows. And I've already got my Google account connected to make, you'll have to do that first. And then we're gonna search by path in my drive, choose the spreadsheet that we're looking for. I have it in make builds and website scraper v1. <coughs> And then that's sheet one, and it does contain headers, and those are in the first row, and that's it. So that'll, that'll pull the data, the new rows, as we add them from our Google Sheet. And we'll set it to all. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, then we need to actually set up the HTTP GET request to pull from the URL. So we'll add a new module, go down to HTTP, and we'll make a request. So then this URL is gonna be the website URL from our Google Sheet, so it's gonna pull that field in. And we're doing a get method, that's all we need there. So if we wanted to, at this point, we could already test this. We could go into our website URL. Um, we can put really any site here. Uh, farmer's dog, here we go. Let's go with the farmer's dog. Is it just the farmer's dog.com? I think so. Perfect. So we'll pull in that URL. And so now we can go back and we can run this. And so it's gonna pull, and we got a status code 200, which is good, we want that. And then it has the data here. So it just pulled everything from the farmersdog.com. So then what we need to do next is we need to set up a text parser that's gonna strip out that HTML and just give us the text that we can use to actually uh, work with and send into chat GPT. <clears throat> so we need to add a text parser and that will be HTML to text. And then the HTML that we're pulling in, so that field will be the data that we just pulled from the farmersdog.com. And if we run it again, we can ignore the warning um, since the transformers last. So we'll run that. It's pulling from our sheet. And then now it's, and we got an error. Let's try it again. Okay, so now we got the text parser set up. I had to add a new, a new URL for that so it would pull that new row. Then we'll see here that it's stripped out all of that HTML. So we're just left with all the text, which will help because we don't have as much we have to put through ChatGPT. Okay, so now that we have that set up, we need to add in another module, and this is gonna be a ChatGPT, and it's gonna be a completion. So I've already got it connected to my OpenAI account. I have some credits in there to run against the API and we're gonna create a chat completion. We're gonna use GPT-4 for this, and max tokens is zero. So then we're gonna set up a system role 
which will tell the chat GPT model to, to act as if they are this type of assistant. So for this, we're going to say, you're a helpful, intelligent web scraping assistant. Oops, assistant, if I could spell. And then we're gonna add two different user messages or user roles. So the first one is basically just gonna be asking ChatGPT to tell us about the website. So I have some text I'm gonna put paste in here. So basically, it is asking ChatGPT to tell us about the website using the plain text scrape below. So whatever it pulls from that text parser, puts it into ChatGPT, and then save it as JSON format. So there'll be just a quick about, it'll be an email intro, simple one line email introduction, and then the year that the site was updated. So usually that'll be in the footer or something like that of the website. So now that that user role is set up, we have one more to add. Add the user role. And this will just be the text. So then since ChatGPT will be saving it in JSON format, we then need to parse that JSON and pull the content out of it. So we'll do search for JSON module and parse JSON. And then I'm gonna add in a string, which is just gonna be the result of so content choices message content from ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and test this now that we've got this set up. I might need to po paste in one more URL. So it'll pull the farmer's dog again, let's see how this goes. So now it's running through ChatGPT. All right. And there we go, we've got our about, which it summarized what the site is about. And it gave us a nice little email intro. And then it shows the year, so 2024, awesome. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to then go back to our Google Sheet and then update the row so that it fills in that information in a, in a more digestible format than actually having to be in the make scenario. So we'll add in Google Sheets, module, and then update a row. So search by path, we're just gonna be choosing the same spreadsheet here, make builds, website scraper, sheet one. So then row number will just be whatever the current row number is from the Google Sheet module. And then each of these or what we are gonna update. So we'll just update the URL, that's fine. We'll do the about column, the email intro, and then the year updated. Okay, that's wrong. So we actually need to, we'll leave the website URL as the same because that's just gonna pull what's already in the Google Sheet. But then for the about column, the email, and the year, we're going to pull from that JSON, from that parsed JSON. So email intro and year updated. There we go, that should give us what we want. So that should be the finished automation. So what I can do here is put one more, one more URL there, it's a new one, and then run this. See what it comes up with. See what it comes up with. Okay, look like our automation finished. And we'll go over to our sheet, and there we go. It pushed it to our Google Sheet. So the farmersdog.com is, the farmers dog is a pet food delivery service that offers freshly made pet meals. The website offers food recipes made for dogs formulated by board certified nutritionists with an emphasis on human grade meat and vegetables. It goes on to talk a little bit more, some features, customer testimonials, state's benefits of the product, and then a little email intro. So I noticed your website is about providing freshly made nutritious pet food designed by vets and nutritionists, nutritionists and delivered right to customers. And then the year updated. So that updated our Google Sheet. And that is a simple web scraper and allows you to update a CRM or a Google Sheet or anything like that. I will make sure to leave a link to this automation as a blueprint for you to 
put into your own make.com account and to play around with. So that's all folks. I hope that you had fun and I hope that you learned something new. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other ideas for automation projects or if you plan to try this out for yourself. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe. It helps out the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.